I'm going to show you how I make polymer plates for letterpress printing. These plates can be used for the printing a variety of artwork, um, drawings, photographs, or text. The plates can be plastic and flexible, or they can be metal bound. They're made by exposing the polymer, polymer material to an ultraviolet light through a negative. And then the, the plates are mounted onto a metal base that brings them up to the correct height for printing. Okay. Uh, the plate is made. For example, I've used polymer plates extensively for printing such things as coasters, broadsides, and booklets, all of which were employed in this collection of poems done as a team project by a group of Peoria poets and the print club. A drawing of a tree graces this poetry broadside, and a chicken gives flavor to this poster printed with screen printing and antique wood type. These Christmas cards were inspired by old advertising images. This poster uses a half-tone photograph of a vendor press. So, let's go downstairs and see how these plates are made. To make a, a polymer plate, what I do is I start with an image in Photoshop and make it high contrast in black and white. I have to convert it to a negative so that the, uh, the uh, tones are reversed, the parts that will print are white, and the parts that won't print are black. To make the, the negative, I use a high quality inkjet bit printer and print on the Pictorico overhead transparency film. The negative can then be cut out from the film. I'll save the rest of this sheet for later use. plate material um, it is light sensitive but it can be uh, handled for a short time under uh, the low light so it's um, like <laughs> looks like this and I'm going to cut it with a pair of kitchen shears and peel off the protective coating on the, the plate and the negative goes face down on the plate material. There was some extra there, I think I might save that if I, if I need a test piece at some point. So I'll keep that little piece again for later use. I'm going to expose the the plate with an, an ultraviolet and light box here, and the negative will be held in contact with the, uh, with the plate using a little um, vacuum frame here. Make sure they are lined up correctly. exposure for about two minutes.
going to develop the, the plate in a, a tray of water about the room temperature with a very soft brush that will be used to remove the um, polymer that's not hardened by the UV light. And in a, a short time, you can begin to see the relief of the, the plate developing up. The ultraviolet light makes the polymer insoluble, and so the parts that are exposed that don't wash away and remain in, in place, and the parts that were not exposed um, to wash away. And the, the polymer coating is just thick enough to provide a, a printable relief surface. Developing will take about two minutes. All that remains now is to dry the plate with a hair dryer. And to re-expose the, the plate for a few minutes, just to make sure that all of the, uh, the polymer that didn't wash away is fully cured with UV light. So we'll let that re-expose for about two more minutes. The last step, just before the printing, is to add a piece of self-adhesive film to the back of the plate. It can be positioned on the metal plate 